Hi guys, my name is Sassy and my channel's name is Sassy Stories. And in this channel, we read books once a day, almost. So the book that we're reading today is Alice the Amber Fairy. And if you like my books, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. The name of this book is Alice the Amber Fairy and the Showstopper Spectacular. Written by Sarah Crees and Laura Eddy. Let's get on with the story. It's sparkle time for all to see. There stood a dazzling stall full of amber instruments with a singing door. Chief creator of things to play for every kind of sound was Alice the Amber Fairy, the best inventor around. With a swish dig of her amber wand, Alice would design sparkle horns and glitter horns, whistles and glitter chimes. Each ten years in Fairyland, a contest came to town to choose a fairy winner for the showstopper spectacular crown. Dear fairies, we proudly present the showstopper spectacular, Fairyland's greatest musical contest, all tuneful Entries will be welcomed, but only one will be worthy of winning the crown. Showstopper Spectacular, Head Judge. It's showstopper time. The Amber Fairies had one year in and one year out. Alisa Amber, Alfie Amber, Astra Amber, Amelia Amber, Annie Amber, Alex Amber, Amy Amber, Ava Amber, Albert Amber, Agnes Amber. You're sure to win. So Alice's friends thought she would win of this. They had no doubt. The Amber Fairy Trophies. The problem was poor Alice, please promise you won't tell, couldn't play any of the instruments particularly well. Too scared to tell her friends the truth. Or let her family down. Alice cried, what can I do? How will I win the crown? First she tried the glitzer phone, but her fingers were too slow. Clunk, clink. Meow. Then she tried the sparkle horn, but her toots came out too low. The glitter chimes all clashed together. Clash, clag. The bells went ding, dong, wrong. Her drumming sounded too offbeat. And the cymbals rang too long. So Alice worked all through the night, inventing more and more until she created something unlike anything seen before. She took a breath and then blew inside, and without touching a key, the instrument played on its own. It was a tuneful as can be. Alice practiced, playing to make her act look true, until she was finally ready for the, her showstopper boot.
the boo. The contest day arrived at last. The fairies chatted together. I won't mind by heart, said Esme. Mine sounds better, said Susie. As Alice watched each one perform and play their part with pride, she felt guilty about tricking them and knew she could not lie. Alice was called to start her piece and the crowd let out a cheer for Alice's music was the act they most wanted to hear. Um, before I start, said Alice, there's something I must say. I'm not a good musician. In truth, I cannot play. I created this machine to cover up who I am. This instrument plays on its own. I'm really just a sham. The fairies gasped together. They hadn't expected that. As Alice began to tremble, Esme appeared from the back. Well, that was a surprise. She smiled and hugged poor Alice. Don't feel blue, she said. You may not be a showstopper, but your inventor, you're our inventor instead. Alice did not play her piece. And the showstopper was won by the most deserving fair chosen by everyone. Hooray! Well done, Bailey Bell. Go on, Alice. After at the after party later, the fairies all agreed there was one thing that the party really did truthfully need. They cried to Alice all at once, we want to hear you play. So Alice grinned and took a breath without further delay. It went toot toot la dee da, beep and little dee dee, a ring a ling big bug, oompa oo and whee. The special instrument was famous at near and far. Alice learnt that best of all is being who you are. I hope you like the story. Tomorrow is a new story. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.